What is up everyone? I hope you're doing well. I just want to do a very different video than usual on my channel. And I just want to explain kind of how being a really big Star Wars fan has influenced my personal fashion style. As you can see, I kind of made like a little PowerPoint right here, just like a school presentation. But about a month ago, my girlfriend kind of was talking to me about like how I dress and everything. She's like, you know, you probably dress the way you do because you grew up with Star Wars and you're a huge Star Wars fan. And then that's when I kind of connected the, the two. And I'm like, you know what? I do see a lot of overlap between the Star Wars design and world and concept art and then my personal style too. So personal style, it is a way of showing interest. And I'm not saying that I'm gonna go into public, I'm gonna go to class dressed up like Kylo Ren or Obi-Wan Kenobi or anything like that because oh I have to show the world that I like Star Wars no 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 I'm saying that like you can pull elements from your interest from your hobby what you like and then incorporate it into your personal style and, and I just want to show you guys different ways you can do that so I did find this pretty neat article it's called the psychological reason why we wear the clothes we wear the first point they hit on in this article which I'll link below is uh, it could be an emotional reason so quote the things we were exposed to as a child are going to have a crucial effect because they're more available in your mind. And then they kind of go on and talk about like if your mom wore a particular jacket, you might be more inclined to wear that jacket. But it's also a comforting thing as well. And growing up, ever since I was like age five and then now I'm 22, I've always been a very, very big Star Wars fan. And a couple times when I was a kid, I would get very, like I got very sick one time. I had to miss about a semester of school. and. Uh, it was in eighth grade and I used Star Wars as not only an escape, but it kind of became a comforting thing as well. So that's probably why I'm still such a big Star Wars fan to this day. So what I'm trying to get at here is you can take your interest and it, it will reflect in the clothes you wear. So for example, like here's like the anime inspired lookbook. And like obviously this girl like likes anime and like it does, it can reflect into her clothes as well. Or let's say this one up here. If you grew up listening to country music all the time, you know, I you're probably gonna be more inclined to wear certain things that show you're into country music or you're you're into that culture. So here's a couple other examples like Star Trek fashion's little outfit. Um, none of these pieces right here are like cosplay pieces or anything. They're just normal clothes, but if you layer it right and you work them together, it can kind of look like a general Star Trek outfit and then there's a ray one down there but anyways a pretty common movie i see being on like fashion forums and all that stuff is just the matrix that's a pretty big movie that people are inspired by for their personal style so a lot of them will wear these small glasses right here and i see these three outfits on the right um, they are kind of matrix inspired you could say um, not saying that they want to dress up like the character but they could take elements from that movie and from that design be like, well, this is pretty cool. I like how this looks. Here's another example, Ghost in the Shell, which is a very popular anime movie with kids in tech where usually it's a pretty big inspiration. Um, the live action one was like, eh, not the best, but even the costume designs for the live action ones are pretty sick. Um, like everything would be really cool to incorporate these tones and kind of these cuts. Um, into an outfit, just minorly too. That's just an example. So I'm not saying I'm gonna dress up like a character or anything, but I think your interests do subconsciously influence your fashion choices. And it wasn't until about a month ago that I really like tied the two together when my girlfriend did bring up, like you like Star Wars so much, that's probably why you dress the way you do. And I was like, you know what? You are probably right, actually. And then I got the idea to do this video. All right, so why Star Wars? Like why, I think are some reasons why I'm so into it. Um, I think why these reasons are why a lot of people were into it back in 1977, because it was kind of the first sci-fi movie that was grungy and dingy. Because at the time, usually all the other previous sci-fi movies, like all the spaceships were like glistening clean and seamless and it was very clean. And, but Star Wars, though, it, it was grungy. It was kind of a dystopia world, dystopian world. Um, and then futuristic, of course, but I mean, it's a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna say futuristic because they're technologically advanced from us. So, um, one thing I wanna touch on is like the environment because 
the characters that I'm going to be pulling inspiration from, from like their outfits and everything, they do operate in this environment and various ones. Um, so I think it's good to like take that into consideration when analyzing this topic here. So here's Coruscant. A lot of these are concept art from Star Wars 1313, which would have been a super sick video game and then Disney cut it. Very kind of cyberpunky, uh, which I know a lot of kids in tech were, are kind of into this whole cyberpunky dystopian look kind of feel to it. Um, and I think Coruscant's a very good example on it. Another planet that I think can serve as good inspiration is Kamino, um, just because it's so streamlined and very clean and very sheen. Obviously, I'm not saying dress up like a Kaminoan, but you can take those elements of being ultra clean and like and apply that to an outfit or something so here is like concept art from the force unleashed and then battlefront 2 and then here's a screenshot of i think the clone wars um no yeah that is a clone wars and then here's just some like various other concept art pieces that i think um showcase really well the environment in which these characters are acting in so up here you do have just like space battle um, force awakens concept art and then some rogue one concept art this is force unleashed but again the kind of the constant themes you're seeing throughout all the environments it is like kind of a future dystopian place a lot of the costumes and costume design does reflect that obviously i'm not going to be taking like a huge inspiration from like clone troopers like clone commandos or anything like stormtroopers or sith or anything because it's kind of harder to incorporate those things directly and get that tangible inspiration into your daily outfits but you can take some of the amazing costume designs and apply them to everyday outfits. Mainly, a really good resource for this is I think like Rebel Soldiers and like kind of the Rebel Alliance because that's the most grounded uh, because a lot of it is pulled from like our militaries and all that stuff. I think a really good resource for this topic and inspiration is Jen Erso from Rogue One. So here is some concept art. Um, and this poncho is kind of the big piece on this costume right here. But if you kind of break it down, it, you have a lot of different pockets. It's modular and I really like the color of it. It has a hood and a cool like kind of neck gaiter thing. But obviously you're not gonna go out and like try and shop for one of these capes unless you're looking at these acronym capes right there. Um, but you can take that and kind of break it down into different elements and incorporate those into your outfit. So maybe this color, maybe a waterproof material, uh, maybe a hood that's similar to that that's like removable, or modular pockets like mole straps or something like that. Um, these two ponchos on the right right here, those are from Acronym and they're probably like a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars. But you can kind of see how there are similarities and so one could have inspired the other or vice versa. Not saying that Earlson Hugh of Acronym um, was like, you know what, this Ray concept art let's do that like I 100% he did not do that but I'm, you know you see what I'm saying I really like this concept art um, first of all if there's a jacket out that looks like this your boy might have to cop because that's super sick um, but the left outfit right here concept piece it's very wearable if you really think about it you have like some navy cargos and then a vest with some cool layers underneath and some very nice colors like gray kind of a sage green that khaki and the navy um and then boots you know so i think just growing up and being exposed to characters like this for so long has kind of rubbed off on me and it's kind of why i like the clothes i like and then here's just some last examples of Jin urso these are from the actual movie um really love the incorporation of like the scarf so let's say you don't have to get a scarf that's just like over the top right but you could always incorporate a slightly more wearable scarf um, with the vest or, you know, incorporate some of these colors into an outfit. But another inspiration that is pretty cool is uh, Star Killer from The Force Unleashed. Now, um, I'm not saying go out and get a jumpsuit and wear a jumpsuit all around like a flight suit. But like if you kind of look at the picture on the right, right, I know that's a flight suit, but if you could find a jacket that looks kind of similar to that. And again, growing up playing this video game when I was younger, and I'm like, dude, that jacket looks sick. Like I could totally wear something like that. Um, something of a similar fit, similar color, similar features. So 
like a real life example would be like a jacket like this. This is from Rose and X. I, I don't have anything from them. Um, I eventually do want to get something from them, but as you can see here, you do have like a collar that looks very similar and you do have that asymmetrical zipper, kind of like how it opened up on the flap right there. So it's things like this, when you grow up playing video games like that, that you might be more inclined to want to wear something like this. And I think that definitely happened in my case. And I think it happened with like everyone, no matter what you're into, um, whether it be anime or certain music, um, Star Wars, Star Trek. Um, here's some last minute examples. Han Solo, very wearable stuff, cool jackets, vest. Um, but taking this and then going to my wardrobe, I wanna talk about like performance fabrics, water, the jackets, the pants, certain shoes, bags, and vests. But so a consistent theme that I think of when I would you know, be surrounded by Star Wars and Star Wars art is I feel like a lot of the characters would wear performance fabric, so things that had technical materials and technical properties to them. So, for example, the outfit on the left here, it is a very breathable outfit. Both the shirt and pants are breathable, very good for summer. And then the next two are like all pretty much like waterproof jackets and water resistant pants and shoes. But what I'm trying to get at here is in Star Wars, I would imagine most of the characters, especially like in the Rebel Alliance and all that stuff, because it is in the future, even though it's a long time ago and a galaxy far, far away, but in the future, I would imagine most of the fabrics that are used in the clothing are have properties of water resistance, waterproof, breathable, anti-wrinkle, anti-odor, anti-stain, stretchy, like all those things. So, now, here is I, one of my jackets that I think really reflects some of those properties when we analyze like the Rebel Soldiers. Um, here's a waterproof jacket from 5.11. This one, um, it's very modular, has a lot of pockets. I really love this color. It's called Tundra, which is a kind of an off, it's like green brown, but very wearable. Like even the picture on the right, like if a Rebel Soldier in a Star Wars film were to be wearing that, I wouldn't think twice. Like is that a, is that a jacket from Earth? Like, you know? Uh, I know that's kind of cringy to say, but um, this it could almost be like a prop, I think. Cargo pants, I think, are huge in Star Wars. And I think growing up, watching all those movies, like cargo pants kind of rubbed off on me a little bit. Um, but these, they do have properties that are, you know, water resistant, um, good stretchy materials, um, lightweight with some cool features. Um, here's just a couple more examples. I picked these up not long ago. After I got them, like, these kind of look like Boba Fett pants, but not that I tried to look like that. I mean, just right here, you can kind of see the similarities, and um, I mean, this could be a real stretch to say, like, oh, by subconscious, oh, I like Boba Fett as a kid, therefore I like these. You know, I think that is a little bit of a stretch, but there is a slight overlap between me being such a huge Star Wars fan and me being into tech wear and the clothing that I like. You know, it's just slightly overlapped, I think. And these are just some examples that I think could represent that relationship. Um, again, more cargo pants right here, but moving on to shoes, I really think, let's say these Nike boots, these are Nike military boots, the special field ones actually. Um, very lovely color, functional shoe. It, I don't think it would be out of place for like a Star Wars character to be, to be wearing these. Um, and then the other ones, they're more just like a futuristic shoe. Um, things that have like, these have water resistance to them. These are ultra breathable and like an all air cushion sole. These have a cool fastening system to the back. But the shoes that I think really, really scream Star Wars to me are these SF Air Force Ones. Um, not a super high performance shoe. The whole like strap going around the ankle, the color of the sole, and it's it's like a sneaker boot almost. It just, to me, it screams like, oh, a Star Wars character would wear this. Now, moving on to bags here. I do have these two Orbit Gear bags, and this middle one right here, the material used in the bag itself, it's like a foil fabric, and then the pockets on the front, they're actually translucent. Um, and then you do have some modular um, straps that go around that are um, easily adjustable um, for the user. But with the incorporation of these materials, it seems very futuristic and not 
it, it seems like something perhaps that could be in Star Wars. Um, the other one, it's more of a simple messenger bag, but again, very modular. You can put on different attachments. Um, so like that poncho that Jen Erso had in the beginning, like it had all the different attachments to it. You can do that to these bags and um, you know, the strap, um, it has some cool buckles on it, some quick release um, features and all that. Um, but here's a vest or a chest rig from that same company. And again, you do have some cool buckles. This is a Fidlock buckle here, so it's a magnetic latch and then you pull a lever and then it undoes. Um, and then some pretty cool fabric. It's the iridescent material. So it's kind of like 3M where you take it, your flash and you take a picture of it, it kind of glows. Um, but this fit, it kind of looks a little bit Star Wars-y. It definitely looks kind of more dystopian. Um, here's a backpack that I have. It's an Adidas Y3 backpack, but because it's kind of compact and simple and with this cover, it kind of looks a little bit Star Wars-y in my opinion, but I could be stretching with this. One thing that I think is undeniably very Star Wars is vest because Han Solo with a classic outfit, um, but then I put a picture of Jin Erso here just for reference. And I'm not saying that my vests are the same color or crop to them, um, but with layering, I think vests are really cool. Um, and I remember when I first got the black vest, I kind of made a mental note. I'm like, it's kind of like my Han Solo vest. Um, and then the vest on the right, it does have that metallic silver material on it, which is kind of moonlight, kind of spacey. Um, and then some cargo pants as well. But I do want to touch on like some photography too because I do like taking outfit pictures or you know fit pics. Um, and it's cool to incorporate those kind of futuristic silhouettes and features in an outfit and then take it in a place that's kind of otherworldly. So here are just some examples. These are the paint mines in Eastern Colorado and then Here's Rocky Mountain National Park in the winter time. I like went on a hike up there, um, but super kind of cool, like spiky mountains. Um, great sand dunes, very Tatooine-like, but you do have some high mountains in the background. Um, so here is like me, obviously, in it, but here's like a complete outfit picture. Um, so. I think it's kind of cool because I do have that washed out kind of gray t-shirt and then the Orbit Gear bag with the tin foily looking material on it and the modular strap to it, cargo pants and then those SF Air Force ones that are very Star Wars-y. But I, when I was going to this location, um, I consciously made the effort to put together a Star Wars inspired fit because it does kind of look like Tatooine. Um, or at least otherworldly. So, but I took this about a month ago, right around the time that my girlfriend mentioned that I probably dress and like tech wear so much because I am such a big fan of Star Wars. Um, so I kind of put all my ideas together when we went to this location, took this picture, took this fit pic, and um, yeah. Anyways guys, thank you for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. I know it's something different and hopefully it's not too like cringy of an idea. I think everyone deep down does have something that they enjoyed a lot as a child or even now and it does reflect in their personal style. And Star Wars, it is one of the things I do enjoy. I read the novels all the time. I read comic books all the time. Um, huge fan of the movies, the Clone Wars. So I'm not surprised that over the years, some of the, the character design and world design kind of rubbed off on me and that's why I wear some of the clothes I wear. But anyways, thanks for stopping by and I will see you in a video pretty soon, so.